Good morning. This is uh, Chaplain Ike Iwama, the new command chaplain for the 63rd. Our reflection this morning is a question. Where are you stuck? You know, many of us look at what is happening to our country and we feel stuck because we cannot do anything. Or at least that is what we think. We blame the politicians who have the power to change things, but are stuck in the tunnel of silence. Many of us are going through situations in our lives where we feel there is no way out. Many feel God has betrayed them. I want to ask you, are you one of the many? Are you stuck somewhere in your life at this moment? Is there something preventing you from reaching your full potentials? Is that something in your relationships, personal or professional? If it is in your personal relationship, do you feel God has not given you the kind of man or woman you really wanted or significant order? I feel there are many of us in this same situation. Many of us who feel God has not given us what we so much desire. I know so many of us out there who are still single, who have dreamt of being married and having kids, but every relationship ended with a heartache. There are many still of us out there who have dreamt of starting their own businesses, hoping it was an inspiration from God, only to see that dream crash and burn. There are also many of us whose spouses suddenly, unthinkably, left for no known reason, while we are fighting to put food on the table and roof over the head. Many of us still have also witnessed in the space of a few months in their lives in this past year when it all felt like everyone is dying from COVID. This is something that is in the air. And so that is why the reflection is, where are you stuck? So most of us are stuck somewhere. My question then is, do you know where you are stuck? Uh, some time ago, I was trying to fill with my vehicle, and uh, I got stuck under the car. And I was asking, who is there? And my little girl runs out and said, Daddy, where are you stuck? And before I could know it, she started screaming, Mommy, Mommy, come, Daddy, stuck somewhere. Where are you stuck? When you have trusted God but feel He has let you down and hard. Many of us have questioned why God does not give us the deepest desires of our heart. Many of us today may still be asking why God has not protected their marriages. Or even still, why has God allowed over 4 million people worldwide to die of COVID-19? We have so many questions whenever we feel God has failed to do what we expected Him to do. Now let me tell you a story about a woman I know who was stuck in her life and felt betrayed by both God and life. In this story, you will find out that you and I are not alone in our questions. Her name is Naomi. Naomi means pleasantness. This woman, Naomi, was married to a man called Elimelech and they had two sons. Their names are Melon and Kilon. 
this couple lost their livelihood to famine and decided that they would have to leave their homeland. The story of immigrants. Myself, I am an immigrant from the beautiful land of Biafra. This couple then decided to leave home and they went to a new country. While they were in that new country, Elimelech, the husband, died. And just when Naomi had reason to be comforted by the marriage of her two sons, both also died. Leaving their wives childless, none of them had a child, an offspring. This woman, Naomi, became officially a widow and uh, geographically alone. It hurt. Just imagine for a second what this woman must have felt. You thought you had it all bad. She was a widow in a foreign land. And like most of us who are immigrants, especially those whose spouses have died this past year, in her eyes, God had plucked everything she loved out of her life, and she was stuck in her bitterness. Naomi, whose name means pleasantness, was now stuck in her bitterness. Yes, in her bitterness, like most of us would at a time like this. She blamed God for her tribulation. Who wouldn't? I would. Doesn't matter that I'm a chaplain. Yes, I would. It is more bitter for me than for you because the Lord's hand has gone out against me. That's what she said. Naomi was still stuck in her bitterness when she finally returned home to Bethlehem. She told her friends, Bethlehem was her city. Don't call me Naomi. Don't call me pleasantness anymore. Instead, call me Mara, bitterness. For the Almighty has made my life very bitter for me. I went away full, but the Lord brought me home empty. How many of us feel like that so many times, especially in these hard times when we have lost our jobs and lost all that we counted on, lost our 401k? The Lord has caused me to suffer. And the Almighty has sent such tragedy. Is it not the truth? That's all we say sometimes. But my friends, please stay tuned for the next segment because I'm going to show you that in every burden, there is a blessing. What are you going through now? Or what you are going through now may just be a curve in the road. Please don't quit yet.